What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about a video that my buddy Jimmy pr is promo. I want to say I wanted to say Jimmy Eats World, which is a band, but I meant to say Jimmy is promo. Uh, put out a new video on the Galaxy S20 Ultra hands-on type of video about their new feature that's coming out for the S Pen on the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. And it's going to allow you to basically choose things on the screen in the air. So I'll let me show you some screenshots of this. The first screenshot shows you press and hold the pen button, then shake your S Pen to turn on the S Pen pointer. Then what you do is press the pen button once to select something on the screen. So basically you're gonna wave it around on the screen and then when it's on what you want, you just press that uh, pen button again and it'll select it. Also, you can press and hold the pen button to enter scroll mode, then move your S Pen up and down to scroll. You can also double press and hold the pen button to switch between the laser and spotlight pointers. So if you're a big fan of the S Pen, you're gonna look forward to these new features. Also, if you haven't seen his video, I'll link it directly down below. Make sure you check it out. And then lastly, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus. Let's talk the full range of specs and release date potentially could be as early as this coming week. You're gonna get that 11 inch screen with the Tab S7, which is gonna be an LCD display. You'll get an AMOLED display on the Tab S7 Plus, which will be 12.4 inches. Resolution on these two tablets, 2560 by 1600, 120 hertz, and 2800 by 1752, 120 hertz. Both will come with the Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is the fastest Qualcomm processor currently. Six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. Other options should be possible. It's probably gonna be two. 56 and 8 for the other version, but both will have micro SD card support. As far as connections, you get USB, Wi Fi, AX, which is the fastest Wi Fi speeds, Wi Fi Direct, Bluetooth, GPS, all the sensors you get there. The fingerprint sensor on the S7 will be on the side, the S7 Plus will be on the screen, facial recognition for both. S Pen for both with nine millisecond latency, hand recognition, hand writing recognition, and air gesture, child mode, so if you have a kid on there, you can uh, kind of block them out from some stuff, wireless decks, fast charging, and data security knocks, quad stereo speakers on this baby, Dolby Atmos integrated microphone, dual cameras, so you get 13 megapixel main camera and a five megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus and LED flash, eight megapixel front camera, uh, video you can shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. I don't know why they don't have 60 in there. It's kind of weird. Battery 7040 milliamps uh, for the Tab S7. For the S7 Plus, you get 10,090 milliamps. Comes in the colors of Mystic Black, Mystic Bronze, and Mystic Silver. And then you can see the dimensions and the weight there as well. I wasn't planning on buying the Tab S7 Plus, but I don't know, I'm kind of salivating at it, at the thought of it. Um, you can see I, the keyboard attachment will be there. I'm really hoping they use magnets this time instead of the adhesive. It's one of the things I absolutely hated about the last keyboard on the Tab S6 was that the keyboard attachment was adhesive and if you removed it once or twice, it was basically impossible to get it to stick ever again. So hopefully they switched over to magnets like the iPad Pro. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. Question out to you guys, are you gonna buy the Tab S7 S7 Plus? If so, what do you plan on doing on it? Let me know. We'll see you down the road. Peace.